Hey everyone, my name is Megan and this is Painted in Distress. Today I have a fun video of some quick and easy projects using all Dollar Tree supplies. I hope you enjoy! This first project, we're going to take some of these wooden eggs from Dollar Tree and I'm going to paint two of them using Folk Art Chalk Paint in the color Sage. I have been loving this color for spring. And then two of them, I'm going to be using Folk Art Chalk Paint in the color Barely Pink. This is a very pretty color also, but it's very, very light. So I need, I actually ended up doing a few coats on that one. And then for the last two, I'm going to be using Folk Art Chalk Paint in the color Castle. And then I'm just sanding these a little bit, just the edges. Um, just to give them a little rustic look and then I'm going to take this super cute chalkboard sign also from Dollar Tree and I'm not going to do anything to it this time. I'm not even going to stain the legs. I am just going to hot glue these eggs onto the sign and that's it. But look how cute. I don't know. I think it's cute. Um, I saw something similar to this online at I don't remember what store maybe Kirkland's I don't know I saw something similar to this and I thought well gosh I think it was like $20 or something I thought well gosh I'm gonna make this super easy and super inexpensive and it looks so cute next to a tear tray or on a shelf and look how easy it was just for a couple dollars too This next project, I saw this Easter egg tree on Target's website and I thought, how cute is that? But like, I don't want to pay $15 for a seasonal Easter egg tree. So Dollar Tree to the rescue, of course. So I'm just taking this foam cone from Dollar Tree as well as these Easter eggs from Dollar Tree that are from a garland that they came out with this year that are so cute I love these eggs so much and so I'm just going to use all of the colors in the garland now this took about three garlands for me to make because I wanted to make sure that I had enough of each color for each row so on the bottom row as you can see I'm just using some hot glue with my fabulous Lynn Lily sure bonder detail tip hot glue gun that I absolutely love and I'm just using the yellow color on the bottom and then for each row I'm just gonna alternate now because these are Easter eggs it, it got a little and in the cone you know gets narrower and smaller as you go up <laughs> um, I ran out of some room I ran out of room in some of the areas <laughs> and so I had to get a little creative because you know these eggs are kind of a weird shape I thought I would go in between the bottom row for this second row and so on and so forth but um, it all turns out in the end but what I'm trying to get at is that <laughs> don't be discouraged if you do try to make this recreate this at home if you run out of some space or something like that and so I'm just, uh, for this second row, I was just taking this neutral color. And this is the garland that I used. And these are just, I love these so much because they're smaller than their other speckled eggs that they carry. And um, yeah, they're just, they're really cute. And then that way I didn't have to paint a bunch of foam eggs and speckle them myself <laughs> like I did last year. Okay, so see right here how I kind of ran out of some space. So I just had to kind of move them over a little bit and then that way I could get the other one to fit. And then at the top, because mine, we have more of a flat top um, on this cone instead of 
a point and so I just took a few of the pink eggs that I had left over and I just kind of hot glued them together at the top now as you can see we have a lot of space in between there but in the picture from Target they had some leaves going in between the eggs on the tree so I got this um, felt ball garland from Hobby Lobby on clearance and I thought it was so pretty just to have the the felt balls in my stash as well as the flowers was really pretty and so what I'm doing as you can see is I'm just taking the leaves off of the flowers it was very easy it was just a simple little stitch that they were attached to anyway and then I'm just cutting them in half because these leaves are kind of larger than I probably would have liked and yes I could have easily made these but you know I just wanted to use what I had and save time and so all I'm doing is just in the little bare spots I'm just taking some hot glue and literally shoving the felt leaves in between the eggs and that's all I did and um, I think it added a really nice texture and added detail to this tree as well and I tried to not cut the leaves in half but they looked a lot better if it was just one um, instead of the two leaves and so yeah I just go around the entire tree and just kind of see where I wanted the leaves to be placed and to fill up any additional holes and stuff like that and I mean these are the leaves would be easy to make on your own or you can also use you know ribbon would would have been really cute in between these as well um, especially if it was like a wired ribbon that would be really cute but um, I was trying to dupe this as close as possible and so so yeah that's why I just decided to do the leaps and then for the base I got this terracotta pot out from Dollar Tree and I'm just heavily dry brushing using my um, Adirondack white folk art chalk paint to give it a little bit of a little bit of character I mean you can just leave it plain or you can just paint the whole thing white but I kind of liked the terracotta look but um, also wanted to give it a little character as well and so then I'm just taking some of this burlap ribbon from Hobby Lobby and I'm just cutting it for the bottom of the pot because I thought the bottom of the tree kind of needed a little something too and I purposely made the I used the pot that was a smaller one instead of a bigger one and then I also took some Dollar Tree River rocks for the bottom so it did have some weight to it and then I just hot glued the tree to the pot and then this project was done and I would love to know what you think in the comments below I think the Target one is definitely cuter, but I think this, um, it's definitely a, a close dupe and very cute. I think the leaves should have been smaller. I should have cut down the leaves. I think they were a little too big for the size of the eggs. This next project is something that I was just kind of looking around at my supplies, my stash, and it's just kind of something I came up with so I'm taking the this bunny garland from Dollar Tree which is super cute just as is I mean it doesn't even really need because I, I love a good buffalo check but it doesn't really go with my spring decor right now so I took off the the, the bunny tails and then I'm taking these removable tile decal peel and stick the tiles <laughs> from Dollar Tree and I'm just tracing out the bunny shape on each one of them. What I like about using these is that they already have an adhesive on the back and so I don't have to use any Mod Podge or a glue stick or anything like that so it's it's really nice and my my good friend Lynn actually from Hot Mess and Hot Glue sent these to me 
because I have a really hard time finding these out here in California and she sent them to me a while back and I have been dying to use them so thank you Lynn for sending these to me and so once they were cut out then I just attached them to the bunnies and I didn't worry about taking off the the paper that was on the bunnies anyway since I was just gonna cover them up I thought well, why take the time to do that I feel like it was just a waste of time and then I just sanded down the edges a little bit just to make sure they were nice and smooth and even just the same as I would do with scrapbook paper as well and then I got out my folk art chalk paint in the color milk jug and then I'm going to give each one of these bunnies two coats two generous coats because the the gold tone although it is very pretty the rose gold it doesn't really go with anything in my house and um, and I thought once I painted then it would it would really show the texture of the bunnies and so what I did, what I'm doing here is, so first I painted them just one coat and then I really wanted to get these kind of rustic. And so um, I just decided to get out my Apple Barrel Burnt Umber, which I absolutely love this color, and I just gave them one coat. I should have did this from the beginning, but whatever. And then once that was dry, then I gave the bunnies two good coats of the Milk Jug Folk Art Chuck Paint because what I'm doing is I'm going to be distressing these and I really wanted the detail of the the tiles to really show and so once I once I um, did that as you can see here then they will really it'll really bring out the detail but also give it a brown more distressed color instead of the metallic rose gold color uh, hopefully that makes sense And then I'm just taking this placard sign from Dollar Tree and this is actually what I'm going to use to put the bunnies in. And so to stand the bunnies up in the sign, then I just hot glued two Jenga blocks also from Dollar Tree and, uh, together. And then I'm just gonna take the bunnies and put a generous amount of hot glue to the bottom of them and to the back of them and then stand them up onto the tumbling tower blocks. I guess I shouldn't say Jenga blocks because they're not actual Jenga blocks. So then I just do the same for the other two bunnies. And then for some added character I'm just adding some Spanish moss of course from Dollar Tree. This is all from Dollar Tree into the little box. And then I have these candied carrots. Now these carrots actually have candy in them. They're plastic. You can find them in the Easter candy section. So I just dumped out the powdered candy, which was basically just sugar. <laughs> and then I took off the, um, the, the greenery parts of them. And then I just added some, oh, what is that called? Oh my gosh, why do I always, actually it was a hula skirt. Yes. <laughs> And then I just cut it down, hot glued it inside to give, um, to give, just give it an added character. And then so these don't just look like plastic carrots. Then I got out my Waverly antiquing wax and I wanted to really dirty these up. I wanted them to look like they were straight out of a carrot patch. <laughs> and, and then also to show the really nice detail that it was actually in on the carrots. And then I'm just wrapping the top part with some jute. to give it some added character and then also because there was they were like a screw top on the top and so I wanted to also hide the, the image or the the detail of that and then I decided to make these I guess it would be the backs of the bunnies and so I just took some half wood beads 
and hot glued those onto the bunnies. And then added the carrots into the little display. And I thought they needed a little extra something. It was a little too, a lot of browns going on and stuff. And so I did end up hot gluing the carrots in there so they would stay still and wouldn't, wouldn't fall over when I went to display this in my house. And then since I had some of those leftover mini eggs from the garland, I put those inside. And then I found this metal wire, or I'm sorry, metal ribbon from Dollar Tree, which my mind was just blown when I saw this. I mean, it was so cute. But this one kind of mimicked almost a little bit like a, um, a fence, like a white picket fence almost a little bit. So I decided to paint it. <laughs> to give it more of that look and just a little bit extra character and stuff on the front of it too. And then I distressed it just to give it a nice rustic look. But this metal ribbon, are you kidding me? It's so cute. And they had different styles too. But, um, and it was very easy to work with, very easy to cut and all that kind of stuff. Um, because it was in a roll, it was a little uneven. So I just had to kind of manipulate it a little bit. And then once, you know, once I got that going, then it was, it was fine. And then I just decided to hot glue it to the front of this little display. And then I added just these tiny little flowers. These are from Dollar Tree as well. They're so pretty, but I just thought just to add a little pop of color you know, I could have added some bows or flowers or something to the actual bunnies, but I, I did want this to be a little simple. And so this is how it turned out. All Dollar Tree. Can you believe that? It's so cute. And I would love to know your comments or your thoughts down below in the comment section. And that concludes this video. And I thank you so much for sticking through till the end. If you are interested in checking out any of my other videos, I do have them linked here. And if you haven't done so already, I would highly appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up as it does help my channel to grow and get noticed just a little bit more. And that is all I have for you guys today. And I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.